biceps are growing. Y you guys can't say that they're not. They are. Not as fast as this YouTube channel though. Yeah! <laughs> Yo, how's it going guys? You're watching Tony's Fitness here with another YouTube video. But as usual, before I get into this video, please like and subscribe. And check out my social medias out if you want to see like physique updates, uh, cool clips of me working out, some of my meals, I respond to comments. I've just done a Q&A on Instagram. So if you want me to respond to some of you guys' questions on there, I suggest that you go and check my Instagram out. got almost 10,000 followers now on there, which is insane. Almost at 3k on YouTube. So, you know, it's amazing. Probably like 20k in total. Maybe even, maybe even 50k. Across, across all my platforms like put together so yeah thanks guys and let's hop straight into this video so this youtube video is going to be about does creatine cause hair loss well i'm going to start off by saying it is a big rumor that creatine causes hair loss so i thought i'd do a video about it so creatine is basically just a source of energy okay and like water that you hold in your muscle that can make you look a little bit tiny bit it basically when you're working out if you're taking creatine it might make it so you can get an extra rep out that one extra rep so yeah it will help you but something a lot of people think is does it cause hair loss only i think if it runs in your family so if you come from a family where you're all losing hair then maybe yeah creatine might make it so it might speed up the process but i think if 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 you you're genetically if you've got good genetics to have a full head of hair then you never you, you know creatine's not going to hinder with it at all uh how old should you take creatine um i'd say over the age of 16 i don't take it because i don't there's no point really it doesn't actually do that much it can help you get that one extra rep out, which, yeah, that one extra rep, that one extra percent in your workout, it could, it will help. It will. I'm not going to say it doesn't because it will help. But it's just, like, not worth it if you put in the maximum effort in. And it, yeah, it's cheap. But what you got to think about is you can get, like, go Holland and Barron and get a container of it for, like, 10 quid. Do that you know, once every few months, if it's going to last you a few months, and that's like 100 quid, isn't it, like, over a couple of years, it's just not really worth it, um, for creatine, when, 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 maybe, I might start taking it, like, in a year or so, but at the moment, I, I don't take it, it's a nat, it's a natty supplement, take it if you want it, it's good, It'll um, make your muscles look more big because of the water in them. Because it can make them hold more glycogen, which is good. It can be very motivating, especially if you've got a mirror in your uh, gym or in wherever you work out, and you can see yourself, and you look, you've got a little bit more, you know, you know, swollenness in your muscle. Like it looks bigger. It can motivate you to do more. So basically. End of the question, like, does creatine cause hair loss? I don't think it does, unless it runs in your family, and, you you know, you're going to get it anyway. Um, if it does run in your family, that's a risk that you're going to take, taking it. Honestly, if it did run in my family, which it doesn't really, hair loss is only a little bit, like, when we get, get really old, like, above the age of 50. So I'm just average with hair loss, but if you're already losing hair, I would suggest you didn't go on it, but it's a risk, you never know, it might not do anything, it's just a risk, isn't it, but, you know, end of the day, it's up to you, but I, I wouldn't recommend it if, if, you know, it's in your genetics to, you know, lose hair, but yeah, it's a great, it's a great supplement, you know, can give you a bit more energy, make you more motivated, make you push a little bit harder, um, it can, like, decrease hypertrophy and stuff, um, so you can push harder, it, it's decent. It's a, it's a good supplement, in my opinion, guys. But do you need it? I don't think you do. If you go hard enough in the gym. Especially if you're on a budget. I wouldn't recommend wasting your money on creatine. It's not even that big of a thing, guys. Like, it's, not, like, it's, just, it's just a little supplement that people think makes you lose your hair. So I thought I'd do a video on it because it would make a cool subject to talk about. It's, it's nothing, really, guys. Like, it's 2021. 
like there's so many things out there that you can take like BCAAs you get them in all like protein powders and stuff they're their supplements that you can buy alone but no one talks about them you don't even know they're in there you can get creatine even in meats but just not enough of it, not enough of it to actually make a difference you can get it in steak and all these things that are a lot of protein sources but just not enough of it to like be amount of a scoop and it's zero calorie creatine unless you're getting like flavored ones um but yeah I, honestly i don't think you should take it it's just like you can if you want but it's just not that big of a deal like it's just kind of a waste it won't make that much of a difference but if you if you if you've hit like a plateau or something and you need that extra percent and that little bit more motivation then yeah maybe hop on it like you're still going to be natural on it it's just something you can take kind of like a pre-workout almost um and yeah this video has been about creatine hope that you guys all enjoyed it especially if you're thinking about going on it um and yeah comment down below what your thoughts were of this video because it helps the algorithm and please like and subscribe peace out yeah natural gains boys not that creatine isn't natural